Hey guys, don't mind the mess because it is messy. So I've used three type of colors. First one are these Mary's Dope Tide fabric colors. These are good and you get this regulator to just dilute your paint. And other than that I have used Bluebird fabric paint and these are good too. They are like similar. Everything is similar or you can use our favorite regular acrylics and just add... What was that? What? Second most important thing is this. These are frames, uh, hoop frames I guess. You use them for embroidery and believe me you are going to need these. A lot of these if you are painting sunflowers. I'm using organza dupatta. You can use whatever fabric you want. I, if you are a beginner, I suggest you, you are a beginner. So I suggest you to use something less thin because organza is really hard to work with. Get the sky, it's really pretty. When you're going to start, you're going to need a long bed sheet <laughs> on the carpet so you don't ruin your mother's precious carpet like I did. <laughs> so just use a spare cloth. Then we will put it on it and then we will start colors mix karna. So I'm using disposable things there. These are two cups. I'm going to mix yellow and green, like separately. I added bluebirds yellow, then acrylic yellow, and then I added a little white to just mix the colors, you know. Then I added bluebirds green. It was viridian. So I added a little Mary's dark green to change its color. Then I used this big container and I brown and black i used it for brown and black it's brown acrylic and black bluebirds now these are the brushes i use round brushes flat brushes and detailing brushes the tray is to just move the colors because it's a lot of work let's go first of all you're going to use these hoops believe me they are really weird I guess I had no idea how to use them but I just learned it from YouTube. Now when you do this, you have to make sure that it's tight so the color don't bleed on the, you know, the down bed sheet we are using. Then I am using this yellow marker, simple marker to just mark or sketch the flower for an idea. You can change your flower or anything it's just my preference i work with a lot of sunflowers so here comes the water you know you need water everywhere i'm going to spray this water to dilute the colors because they are really thick and it's kind of difficult to work with thick fabric paint now i'm going to start with yellow i mixed all the colors to make a sunflower yellow and it looked pretty So I started with yellow, I'll do the yellow thing first so that I don't know what I'm talking about. But I need to tell you guys that you are so lucky that you have me to tell you everything. This is my fifth dupatta and at my fifth dupatta I knew that what I had to do. So to tell you what are the do's and what are the don'ts. So after doing the yellow I just pulled the bed sheet away because it was really messing the dupatta. I used brown color for the core of the sunflower then I did an other layer because you have to keep doing it. It's really hard. Then I did this, I don't know how to explain this but you can see, uh, to just give, <laughs> just give something. <laughs> then I'm using green for the leaves, the viridian and dark green are mixed. After that we're going to use black to just outline the things, it gives a very good image to the flower because without the black the flowers look kind of complete so you have to properly dilute the black color to just do the uh, stroke in one stroke because it looks pretty that way i did all the 
layers and this is our first floor now that's where i tell you how hard it is to work on organza you can see the mark i literally did nothing and it just ruined the dupatta so we are painting another flower here you can see the outlines i'm doing here because in the previous video it was really uh, non-existent so you can see it's just a rough sketch you can do whatever you want after painting all the big sunflowers here i'm going to do the mini ones and this is the hardest part because i had two frames and i have to keep opening them and closing them opening and closing and it was a mess so i'm doing this i did this without sketching because it was like a uh, just do it with the flow so i'm doing this now i'm outlining it too because you know definition here you can see the final product it's a lot of work a lot of work believe me i was just so tired but it's all worth it look at me flaunting in my beautiful dupatta i really enjoyed making all of these and i hope you guys learned from it if you have any more questions just hit me up in the youtube comment section or my instagram and thank you so much for all the love and support and thank you again bye bye